All right, let's check this out here. You are saying, I'm still working on the guy. I don't think it's reading in the beginning and it's too fast. Should I have just kept it as is and just add maybe a little movement in the beginning? That is too fast, yeah, that's a pop. I don't think you need to, I think this is, well, technically I would start here. A uh, slight bent knee as you're heading into uh, overstretch IK and then it pops into the bend. I think you can just go like this and leave the eyes open and not do that. Because it is too fast, it feels like the, the door is slamming into him. But then also the head, it's, it's on a linear key and then it stops as well, which all feels weird. I would just keep it here and just keep his eyes, you know, open. So it's the last thing we kind of see that we have it here. And if it closes, that eye is here and closes, we might still see a little bit of the eye and then that's it. I would just keep it like that. Uh, other than that, I made the door wider and fixed the girl to make it look like she's closing the door. Yeah, it's better. I think by now, it's, it's, there's a lot of sliding and I wish maybe through here, the hand wouldn't go up. There would just be a moment where it almost sticks, where it feels like she's actually pushing against it. Like you have maybe three frames here of doing that. It's be a bit longer and sooner. Like by now, maybe already. That's all cool. I like all that. Around the turn. Yeah, it still it still has that feel of one big piece here. It's it feels better. Right there, like, and it feels right there. It's almost like almost a linear key, how you rotate. There's a moment through here, right there. It's not quite a linear key, but just at this point here, frame 93 for me, you don't have a frame counter, so I don't know what that is for you. Frame 93, it's, I don't know what it is, if it's the root chest or the head, but something is a bit harsh. But the thing is like, by the time she's here, imagine the chest is maybe only this far, but then the head, there will be more rotation through here, but not too much, and the most of it through here, so that she's in this orientation and really looking profile, and that would lead the whole thing more, and then the body can catch up. Just this section still feels stiff here. Because there are a couple of things, it feels like the chest, if you look at her butt crack and the chest crack, the, the back crack here, you can see how it all moves as one piece. So it doesn't feel like this is left behind, then this turns more and this turns the most. Then you have this feeling of the chest turns and that arm all moves as one piece. There's no breakup over maybe the hand drags or there's like a slight change where the hand, the whole arm might move over first to then bring the chest over. So that type of breakup is not quite there, there, um, there yet. Fix the show when she looks at the pole and added some head movements in the end. Okay, let's see. So just that section there. Watch out, there's a bit of a wiggle pop on this leg here, this foot. Pop up right there. Right there, that's a bit weird. These guys come in a bit as one thing. I think you can bring in maybe the pinky first and then maybe by now the index finishes and there's some slight adjustment maybe on that thumb. So some polish on that connection there would be good. <sighs> the drop is a lot better though. <sighs> Why is it so... <sighs> Why is it so hard to find a good man? Oh yeah, ending is a lot better too. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find a good man? Well, watch out right through here on this forward movement here. It feels like it all comes out of the chest that takes the lower neck and the head with it. So that forward rotation again feels like this is one big chunk and you want to break it up between those three. One, two, and three. Why is it? So she could. You could counter, maybe you can try it with the chest first. I mean, if I slide down, it might be the chest first, which is almost kind of leading with the head. So you can, at this point, you know, when this is done, keep this, but then rotate the lower neck, uh, just the neck a bit, bit back, and then 
rotate the head back just a bit for the drag and then maybe by now you hit this overall pose in all three. It's so hard to find a good man. Why is it so hard to find a good man? Only through here it gets a bit weird. You have a, just a rotation in the head, a sideways tilt while all of this is going on and it feels a bit swimmy. Why is it so hard to find a good man? Hard to find, like hard to find. I would go down on hard and go down on finds. Just to give it some accents. So hard to find a good man. So hard to find a good man. Hard to find a good man. Uh, watch out for you, man. I'm not quite reading the lips on man here. I think you can hold this a frame or two longer, at least a frame. And what I would do is to M, and then as your jaw goes down, it's still closed. And then here you can have corners together. Maybe it starts opening kind of like a sticky lip, but you want, it's good to have the jaw go down while the mouth is still closed. It makes it a bit more organic. Man. 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 And when she says, mm, you, want, you want to bring that tongue up. If you say man, n, you can leave the mouth open, but the tongue will go up for the end. This is so hard to find a good, this is so hard to find a good, the F. This might just be my program too. Sometimes the sync might be slightly off. Um, but just double check. This feels man feels early. It's so hard to find a good man. Uh, fine, sorry. Why is it so hard to find? It's so hard. To, See, to me, at least, she's still doing the f while this is already opening. It feels all a bit early. Why is it so hard to find a good man? Why is it so? Watch out, like that eye looks this way and this guy looks this way. So you want to take that eye box of individual eyes and move this over so this pupil is a bit more here. Oh, why is it so hard? Same thing here. This feels too closed up while there's still some white hair. Why is it so hard to find a good man? Why is it so hard to find a good man? A good man. That last eyebrow drop here is a bit harsh. You want to ease in and ease out of that. Find a good man. Right there, it's a little bit poppy. So hard to find a good man. Hard to find a good man. And you see your uh, shoulder raise is also twins. You want to have a frame offset. I know it sounds silly, but a frame and then maybe one is more than the other. It's not so twins. This is cool though. Why is it so hard to find a good man? It's a bit swimmy, I would say, how that thumb find a good man. comes in and intersects. I think you want to maybe slow and then speed up and then slow down as it contacts. And as you end here, that thumb tip goes counters as this goes in. So you feel the pressure while this finger is pushing the tip forward there or up. It's a lot better though. It's very cool. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.